Oh my gosh, there's so many bills. My gosh, there's so many bills. Ah, grow up, lady. 225, 63. 324, 61. 40, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, Oh, uh, nope, it's just Jerry. <laughs> sunshine tax? Yeah, the crooked mayor now has a sunshine tax for literally the sunshine that... Are you forward. sure you're not thinking of the happy tax? We just got... No, no, that was last year. This year, she has a sunshine tax. We have to pay. What about the wonderful tax? Are no, you sure? that was two years ago. Just be glad there's not a stupid tax because Jerry would be broke. <laughs> Zip it, Slappy. You know, if there was a butt tax, you would... A what, Jerry? What? What would I do? No. I don't have a butt, you knucklehead. Just because we have to live with you doesn't mean we have to listen to you. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Y'all be back. It's only a matter of time before a fat tub of pudding like you goes to the refrigerator. Jerry, you can't just keep putting Slappy in the refrigerator every time he makes you mad. Shh! You hear that? Come on, let's go watch TV. Ooh, it's lunch time, lunch time, crunch time, eating tacos, hot dogs, and... Hey, let me out of here. It stinks. You hear something? Put me next to the shellfish and I'm allergic. Either my stomach's growling or my hearing aid's messing up. What if I told you lunch is going to take a bite out of you? Grandpa! <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? You're okay? You need help? You want me to get some water? Water? Okay, I'll get you some water. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> tuition getting flushed down the toilet. Yeah. What? This is Earth Morning News and I'm Francine Featherbottom. Earth New Yorkers were shocked to open up their mailboxes this morning to find a new tax bill. Ridiculous. <sighs> Unbelievable. I'm just glad I don't have to pay taxes. According to Mayor Opal McGillicuddy Gray, this sunshine tax is much different than the happy tax or the cuddly puppy tax. This new sunshine tax will help everyone. If the sun is bright, we'll turn it down. If the sun is dark, we'll turn it up. Because if you're mad at sunshine, you're mad at America. Oh, that mayor's a crook. Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Ah, sounds like my kind of lady. So true. How can you be mad about something called the sunshine tax? Wait, so you're telling me the mayor's job is to lie to people and take their money? Well, Slappy, that's only if you're a corrupt, crooked mayor like her. <laughs> Duh. Where do I sign up? <laughs> the election is only a few weeks away, and for the 20th time in a row, no one is running against Mayor OMG. That sounds fun. I think I'll run for mayor. Slappy, you are a dummy. You will never be mayor. Yes, I will. This town might be crooked, but nobody is going to vote Slappy a dummy in to be mayor. When I'm mayor, they'll do what I tell them. 
Slappy, you will never become mayor. If Slappy, the dummy head, becomes mayor of this town, I will eat my dirtiest, stinkiest pair of underwear. Ew! Ew. Even the sweaty ones after you mowed the lawn? Oh, yeah. Ew! Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Slappy as mayor? I know, right? I, 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 I would like to see that. Uh, get ready to eat those underwear, Jerry. Slappy's got work to do. Yes. Yes, I heard. Slappy? We don't know. The kids are looking for him now. Slappy? Oh, he's not in here. Slappy. Bradley, have you seen Slappy? Um. No, have you checked the fridge? Yeah, I checked the fridge. Mom, Mom, we can't find Slappy. Did you look in the fridge? Yes, we looked in the fridge. Oh, uh, no, your dad's home. Oh, uh, no. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Dad, Dad, what? Dad, would you have to know where Slappy is? Slappy? Yes, Slappy. Uh, have you checked the fridge? We checked the fridge many times, yes. Why, what's what's going on? I, he couldn't have gone far. He doesn't have legs. Well, um, have you seen Francine Better About Podcast? No, Francine Featherbottom has a podcast. That's interesting because I just started a new podcast. It's about Marvel. It's called Is. Ah, uh, Dad, Dad, what? Dad. Um, we don't have time to plug your podcast. Come on, we have to show you this. Hmm. Um, Dad, what's... please don't freak out about what you're gonna see. What's so special? Uh. Hello, and welcome to Behind the Scenes with Francine, Earth New York's number one podcast. Oh, clever name. Right on the show, please welcome Slappy's Head. Wow, it's great to be here, Francine. What's Slappy doing there? Oh, no. Well, I'm announcing right here on your show that I am running for mayor of Earth New York. And this message is for you, Jerry. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> that dummy thinks he can steal my job? Dingleberry, get me my jet. I need to get back to Earth, New York. Slappy, I have two questions for you. First one, is this a joke? And a quick follow-up to that. Are you sure this isn't a joke? This is no joke, Francine. This town deserves change, and Slappy's the guy to do it. The only worse choice for mayor than our own mayor is Slappy. Why should the people of Earth, New York, vote for a dummy, let alone the head of a dummy? You should vote for me because I won't run away from my responsibilities because I don't have any legs. I won't be sitting down on the job because I don't have a butt. And finally, I won't steal your money. Unlike some mayors, am I right, Francine? Ooh, ouch. I won't steal your tax money because I don't have any pockets. Wow, if you can deliver that to the people of Earth, New York, you are gonna get a lot of votes. Oh, what a bunch of horse shit. Language. 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 All right, control yourself. What do you say to your opponent, Mayor OMG, who's gonna be very tough to beat? What do I say to Mayor OMG? Get out of my office. Well, there you have it. This dummy has my vote. Oh, great. Now Slappy has the media endorsement. Thank you so much for watching Behind the Scenes with Francine. Oh, my God. Me and my big stupid mouth. I can't believe I said I would even underwear. Guys, what are we going to do? There is a really good chance Slappy's going to win. Um, it's... And we only have two people of voting age in this house. I don't know. How could anyone vote for a, a dummy head? I mean, I know this mayor's bad, but... I... Well, look at the other choice. I mean, the way Slappy sounded, I was thinking about voting for him. Is there anyone else running? Who's 
Madam Mayor, we don't know where Slappy is. We are looking yeah. for him ourselves. Yeah, we have no clue where he is. You're a bunch of liars. Just a bunch of liars. No, we're not. I know he me. lives here. I, he may legally live here, but he's not here now. No. Trust me. We don't want him running for mayor. We no, don't we, want him taking your job. We want you to win. Yeah. We have personal stake in this. We are. I am personally motivated. Not. We are voting for you. I don't know. I still think you're a bunch of liars. And if that dummy head wins this election, you're all going to be really sorry. What? Why? It's not our fault. We we want to help. Like it's. Yeah, we're trying to help we you. We're slappy. slappy. I'm sorry. I don't believe a word you say. We're knocking your house down and building a dog park. Dog park? Our house? Our house? All the dogs in the neighborhood are gonna come and pee on our property? You deserve it. You deserve it, pig boy. And I know you're pig boy. Why don't you sing me a little song? I, 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 I don't know any songs. Family, emergency. Family meeting. Let's go in the kitchen right now. Now, if Mayor OMG wins, Pro, no underwear eating. That's big. That's big. That's huge. No, that's, that, that's a you problem. If she wins our house, she's going to tear down our house. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a we problem. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now, so. Slappy, pros, we get to keep our house and live happily. Cons. Stinky underwear. Stink lines. Okay, our I house. Okay, yeah. No, wait. Now listen. No one wants our house torn down. No. And no one wants their father to eat dirty underwear. Well, that's so not actually these, not the biggest problem. I think. Hold on. These things right now. These things sort of cancel each other out. No, we don't. So this is no. We need. So this, we need to come up with more cons. No, best display, I... That's you equal. Can, okay. No, you can it's just equal like... equal weight. Okay. You can like just design a good well, way to eat your underwear. House burning down is like... Offering to eat your dirty pair of underwear was unnecessary and it's a you problem. We're yes. not losing our house. That ship has sailed, okay? I already spewed it out of my mouth. It's done. Okay. Now we have to decide yeah. What we're going to do about it. Dad, you can always just deep fry the underwear. I mean, everything oh. tastes good deep fried. Yes, that's a good idea. Like broccoli, uh, cauliflower, those are great deep fried. That's a good yeah. idea. Just, yeah, just Okay, so fry. now it's about how we're going to prepare the underwear pretty yeah, much. Yeah, we can just... Um, so we can keep our house. We can cut it, it If it's bad, because you're not really supposed to eat cut, so you can just like um, wash down some water, get it really down the throat. Or it, you can put it up in a blender and yeah, add... Like, yeah, exactly. Add water, add water. Take it out. And drink it. Or you can deep fry the, the shredded up pieces and then eat it. And then yes, like, yeah. Yeah. See, so see, so now we have a drift to where Slappy, it's fine that Slappy can win. Right? There we go. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, Slappy can win. There is no scenario, there is no scenario where I am eating underwear. Okay, so let's just... But there's a scenario... Get that out of your mind! Okay, we'll, we'll eat near a hospital. That way if there's a problem... You know, we can take you to the murder zoo. Yeah, I I'm mean, not chopping it up and putting it in a salad. I am not deep frying it and covering it in chocolates. Okay, I am not eating my underwear. There is only one solution, because I'm not eating underwear. Yeah, no, Slappy. Our house is not getting knocked down. I'm not right. voting for Slappy, and I'm not voting for Mayor Omg. Well, how? There is only one solution. You don't vote. You guys have held me back long enough. I 
your father, I am running for mayor of Earth, New York. Running for mayor? I don't think any of us expected him to say that. Hey guys, what do you think I should wear for the announcement? Which one? Um... Uh, Honey, neither of those choices are good. Why? Because... I mean, they're buffalo bills which are good, but the problem is you need to wear something more like... Right, a suit and tie. You can't wear that. You, yeah. It'll be a joke. He's in the only kind of clothes I own, though. More like... Who's calling? Someone's calling. Well, well, well. How's my old family doing? Slappy, where have you been? Slappy, you come home right this instant. Wouldn't you know, a little birdie told me Jerry was running for mayor and I just had to see this myself. How do you even know about that? I haven't made the announcement yet. Are you spying on us? Is there cameras? All I wanted to say is, Jerry, I wish you the best. It's just sad to see how far you've fallen. You would run for mayor, embarrass our small town and your family just because you wanted to get out of eating your underwear. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Wait a minute! The only reason... I'm not falling for... The only reason you're running for mayor is to make me eat my dirty underwear. My reason is funny and yours is pathetic. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Okay, okay. We are going to have a debate and I am going to expose you to the world. And everyone's going to see what a horrible... <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I wasn't listening to you. I was too busy imagining you eating your underwear. <laughs> I, look, I'm, I'm sorry. It was just funny in my head because I imagine you eating your underwear with this big bib on. <laughs> yeah, see you at the debate, Slappy. I can't so hear you. Stupid. I'm shutting this off. <laughs> Yeah, the campaign is going great. A lot of people are excited. I'm I'm getting campaign donations already. Can you believe it? Uh, hey, Bradley, open up those signs. Let's see your dad's good-looking face. Yeah, it's incredible. Someone donated a ton uh, of lawn signs, like a thousand no, lawn signs, um, and they're putting them all over town for us. We don't even have to do anything. And someone else offered to fix my car, and I didn't even know it was broken. People Dad? are really excited about Little this Dad? campaign. Uh, yeah. Um, your sign. Oh my God! I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. Uh, are they both like that? Are they all like that? Oh my God! Vote for Jerry Jerkface. They did it wrong. They vote for, oh my God, these are all over town. This is so embarrassing. I, what are we gonna do? I don't have time to change this. Well, Dad. How many, they spent so much. Dad, it, uh, at this point, it'd honestly be better just to change your name. Oh God, you're right. I mean, it, the K could be silent, it could be your face. Yeah, right? that's a good idea. That sounds it, it could be French or something, your face. Like, I mean, I guess Right, it could the work. K is Anything silent. It's okay. Well, Anything could work. And the picture's not that bad. Really? Yeah. yeah it no, looks, it's, it's fine. It's okay. I mean, the booger is a little. Oh, the god! They photoshopped a booger in here. Oh, god, this is so it's embarrassing. It's neon. Neon too. Uh, what about your suit? Yeah, uh, your suit. I don't have time to put it on. Uh, I'm late. Are you guys gonna watch the the debate on TV? Of course we will. We'll yeah. watch your. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, Dad. You'll. Okay. Yeah, you'll do just fine. Just. All right, I'll, I'm gonna start the car and go. Well, you know what, at least we have one good campaign sponsor who fixes our car, at least. Wait. Yeah, wait. Wait a second. Didn't Bye, this... guys. Uh, good luck. Good luck, Dad! Wait, didn't the same person that donated these signs uh, pay to have his car fixed? Uh, um... Kids, here we go. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Let's go, Dad. Hopefully he doesn't embarrass our family too much. Hello, I'm Francine Featherbottom and welcome to Earth New York's mayoral debate. Let's meet the candidates. She's been our mayor for 20 years. You know her, you love her. 
please welcome Mayor Opal McGillicuddy Gray. He's the head that's stolen all of our hearts. Please welcome Slappy's head. Boy, it's great to be here, Francine. Oh no, I don't see your father. Our third candidate isn't here yet and absolutely should. Wait, I'm here, I'm here. Ah, oh, great, it just got fatter in here. I almost died. Someone cut my brakes. Well, then you should have been early. Ooh, burn. A good one, Slappy. Ah, oh, no, we are not off to a good start here. Well, introduce yourself, I guess. Um, hi. Uh, I am running for mayor. I can't hear Earth. him. Can you? Stop mumbling. I, I am running for mayor of uh, Earth, no, can't hear New you. York. What's his name? I, I, I don't have a microphone. Can't Tough one. You, you should have come on time. I, can you please... Take a seat. You're interrupting us. There's no. <sighs> Unbelievable. That's fine, sir. Can you just please sit? Oh gosh, this is going downhill fast. Mayor, our first question goes to you. Why are you the best candidate for mayor? I am the mayor of this town. I've been mayor for 20 years, and I already live in the mayor's mansion, and I'm quite comfortable. Besides, I have the sash. That sash does look great on you. Thank you, Francine. I appreciate that. Slappy, same question for you. Why are you the best choice for mayor? I'm the best choice for mayor because I'm going to tell the fat cats in Washington we're not going to take it anymore. And if the Queen of England comes knocking at your door, telling you what to do, you tell her that you voted for Slappy, because you're voting for America. Well said, Slappy. Next question, Mayor OMG. Um, um Francine, uh, I, I didn't get to answer a question. Sir, sir. I didn't, I, I didn't get to answer the question. Hey, don't touch the equipment. Don't care. I, do not I, touch. You didn't ask me the question. You'll get your turn. Please be quiet. Please continue, Francine, and respect the sash. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor OMG, what will you do about the high taxes in Earth, New York? I'm going to lower the taxes in Earth, New York because America believes in freedom. And freedom believes in America. It's beautiful. Thank you, Francine. Beautiful. Powerful words. Slappy, how will you lower the taxes in Earth, New York? I'm gonna tell those crooks in Washington that if they try to raise taxes, we're gonna climb the Statue of Liberty with a bald eagle and a cheeseburger and tell them my blood runs red, white, and blue. Slappy, well said. Thank nice you. job, Slappy. Why Why are you clapping? Sir? He's just saying a bunch of patriotic nonsense. <gasps> and the truth comes out. Jerry, jerkface, hates America. I do not. Are you calling me a liar? I have the sash. Oh, no one cares about your Can stupid sash. Can you please sash. speak up? We can't hear you. I don't have a microphone, Francine. Like I said before, Jerry, maybe if you showed up on time, you'd have a chair, you'd have a microphone, and maybe you'd have a clue. He's probably talking so low because he's got something to hide. I don't have, what are you, what? Yes, candidate jerk face, what are you trying to hide? I'm not trying to hide anything. What are you people talking about? What are you trying to hide, the, jerk face? Ah, nothing. God, look, look, people. Hello, I, I really hey, need to. Hey, back off, buddy. Can you even hear him? I need, I hello. I want to hear oh. him. Do not touch. Look, I, look, hey, everyone, hey, you need this to is vote assault. for me because the taxes in this town are out of control and the mayor's putting them right in our pockets. That's not true. I wanted to build a puppy park, but Jerry Jerkface won't let me. And you know why? He hates puppies. Oh, I, what kind of a monster hates puppies? I, what is wrong with you? I do not hate puppies. I only said no to a dog park because she was gonna tear down my house and build a dog park. Yeah, it was an ugly house anyway. Isn't it though? And as the mayor of this town, I can knock down all the ugly homes and build beautiful puppy parks. 
You can't just, just because you're mayor, you can't just walk around and knock down everyone's, anyone's house that you want. Did you forget the sash? Give me that sash, lady. Back off, buddy. Give me the sash, lady. Back off before I punch Security. you in the nose. Help! Security. Security. Help! Give me the sash! Slappy, help, help me! Give me the sash! Security! All right, kids, be good. I am going to be gone a while. I have to pick up your father from jail. Again. <sighs> the election results are in and it is a landslide. Mayor OMG will remain our beloved mayor. OMG had a whopping 11,323 votes, where our next runner-up candidate had 11,223 votes. Oh my God, Slappy almost won! And in last place, Jerk face Jerry candidate with one vote. One vote? I got one vote? How embarrassing! I voted for myself! We. What? Who did you vote for? You didn't vote for me? Your I husband? I just didn't want our house to get knocked down. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. So long, suckers. Mama's going to the Bahamas. See ya in four years. Well, at least our house is safe for another four years. And the most important lesson of all, I didn't have to eat my underwear. Get out of here. That's not even a lesson. Yeah, yeah.